Can zinc treat the coronavirus? Stay tuned to find out. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Edgman and I'm a fourth year pharmacy student and I enjoy making these videos on common questions patients have about medications or any healthcare related topics. So make sure to subscribe for more content. Now to the rest of the video. Today we're going to be talking about two studies and how they relate to the COVID-19 or coronavirus treatment. I'll put the links in the description below so you guys can refer to them as we go along with this video. Based off this study, zinc has shown to stop viral replication of the coronavirus by inhibiting an enzyme called replicase. Replicase is an enzyme in which the coronavirus uses to make copies of itself. The study provided data showing how zinc was effective in inhibiting replicase in the coronavirus in vitro. In vitro meaning outside the human body, so in a test tube or a petri dish or anywhere outside the human body, that's what we refer to as in vitro. So since zinc is so effective in treating the coronavirus according to the study, why isn't it being used more often? It's relatively cheap, it's over the counter, and it has minimal side effects compared to other medications. The reason why zinc alone isn't being used to treat the coronavirus is because the study was done in vitro. In vivo, which means in the human body, there's a lot more factors to consider. And the main factor to consider in this case is that zinc is an ion, specifically a cation, meaning it has a positive charge and it has a positive 2 charge. The reason why I bring this up is that in biology, your cells are composed of a lipid bilayer. A lipid bilayer is a shell around your cells and it's non-polar, meaning it has no charge. So what coronavirus does is that it gets into your cells, and specifically in your cytoplasm, which is like the area inside your cell, outside your nucleus. And in that area, it replicates itself with the enzyme replicates like we talked about. And so what the problem here lies is how does zinc, which is a positively two charged molecule, get inside your cell because a non-charged lipid bilayer is preventing it from getting in. You need some sort of like pore or channel for zinc to actually get into your cells to work in vivo because in vitro when they're putting zinc right next to replicates, it inhibits the enzyme. But in your body where it matters, if you take zinc, and it gets into your blood, it will have a difficult time getting into your cells where the coronavirus is to prevent the replication. And this is where it poses a problem. This is why right now zinc alone is not being used to treat the coronavirus. However, there is a possible way of getting zinc into your cells and that's where the second study comes in. The second study talks about the medication chloroquine, which is an old anti-malaria medication and how it's a zinc ionophore. And ionophore is exactly what it sounds like. It's a pore that allows ions to get into the cell. So since chloroquine is a zinc ionophore, which will allow zinc to get into the cell and allow zinc to prevent replicates, which will prevent the coronavirus from making copies of itself, it seems like a pretty good treatment option to help treat patients infected with COVID-19. Based off these two studies, it does seem possible that combining zinc with chloroquine might be an effective treatment for patients infected with COVID-19. However, since there has not been a randomized control study done on these two medications for patients infected with COVID-19, we can't conclude that this medication regime will be effective in patients with COVID-19. However, it does merit further study or maybe a randomized control study with these two medications for patients infected with the coronavirus. Personally, for me, when I read these types of studies, it does give me more confidence in the management and treatment of COVID-19 or the coronavirus. So I'll put them in a link in the description below so you guys can read it for yourselves. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and learned something new. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We got a lot of subscribers in the past week, so let's keep this ball rolling. And as always, make sure to comment any questions, feedback you guys have for me. I always read the comments and always look forward to replying to them. Until then, see you guys next time.